All right, let's take a look at our first example of a W bottom uh, using Bollinger Bands. In this case, we're going to use Nordstrom's, uh, a retail store, as our example. What you've got here is you've got the Bollinger Band set up with a 20-day moving average right through the middle here and a standard deviation multiplier of 2 for the upper and lower band. Now what you've got is you've got a, a W bottom forming right through here. Now well, the first thing you'll notice is that the first uh, sell-off ends at the bottom here underneath the lower band of the uh, Bollinger Bands and then you'll see the first reaction high goes above the center which is the moving average and so you've got the first top formed and then you'll see the next low comes below the first low which is right here but yet it's above the lower band of the Bollinger Band. So this is a sign that you typically see when you've got a stock that has a potential reversal in place. Now from here, you see the second leg of the W bottom taking off, and then your buy point is when it breaks through this area of resistance, which is its prior high. And so right here is your breakout or your buy signal. So you've got good volume on your buy signal, which is important. You've got a lower low on the W bottom with it falling above the lower end of the Bollinger Band here, which resulted in a very powerful move to the upside. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next example here.